Hi, Tom here and welcome to this week's Circle Line Art School Drawing Challenge. In this video, I'll show you one way to draw using a pencil, the Guggenheim Museum in New York City. The first step for this two-point perspective drawing is to draw a horizontal line towards the base of your page. Next, we need two vanishing points, one on the far left and a second vanishing point on the far right. Next, draw a vertical line just to the left of the center of your page. Two point perspective is based on two vanishing points which are always found on the horizontal horizon line. Now from the top of this vertical line draw a diagonal line to the right vanishing point for the right side of the first building we're going to draw. And now we can draw another diagonal line to the left vanishing point for the left side of the building. So in this drawing we're looking to the left and to the right at the same time. That's why we need two points. So these two lines are the two sides of the first building in this two-point perspective drawing. We can now draw two more diagonal lines for the base of these two walls of the first building. Next, we can draw a vertical line here for the right-hand edge of our building and another vertical line on the left for the left-hand edge. We'll make the left-hand line near the first vertical line to make the building nice and thin like it is in real life. Next, we can draw another building on the far right of this drawing. And because the vertical line on the right is so close to the vanishing point on the right, the building will have a dramatic perspective. It's Fifth Avenue, so as it goes down Fifth Avenue, it will um, have dramatic perspective. Next, we can erase some of the lines that we no longer need so that we can see what we're doing. Now we have the two rectangular buildings that surround the Guggenheim Museum we can start to draw the spiral shell-like shape of this wonderful building by Frank Lloyd Wright. First, draw a vertical line for the nearest corner of the Guggenheim. Now from this, draw a diagonal line to each of our two vanishing points, one on the left, one on the right. Next, we can mark the right and left ends of the first part of the building. And now we can draw two more diagonal lines just below the diagonal lines we just drew, to create a thickness. This roof-like shape, which we are looking up at, as it is above the horizon line, has edges that go inwards, so we can add those now. Next, add two more diagonals to the right vanishing point for the side, for the right-hand side of the Guggenheim building. And then two more diagonals to the left too. We can add the left and right vertical lines of the building. And now we can add the subtle curve of the front of the building here. Now from this vertical line we can draw an ellipse, a circle seen from its side, and another ellipse lower down here, and one more ellipse for the base. Now we can draw a line to the right for the edge of 5th Avenue and another for the street on the left too. Now it is time to draw the spiral shape, the famous spiral shape of the Guggenheim Museum. Just draw a line for the right and left edges of the spiral and then we can add an ellipse at the top. Now we can draw one more ellipse and a diagonal line on the right here. We can add a detail here and the baseline of the building. Next, we can draw more ellipses to represent the spiral of the building, and we can draw a cube-like shape here. I think I'll raise the height of this building on the right, as it will look better if we can see the vertical left-hand side of this building, so it doesn't clash with the top of the Guggenheim building. We've now got the basic shape of the Guggenheim Museum and the two nearest buildings to it. To finish this drawing, I will strengthen the lines that we have already drawn, and then I will add some basic buildings on the left using the two vanishing points that we've used all the way through this drawing. 
In two-point perspective, vertical lines stay vertical, and diagonal lines, at least in this drawing, will go either to the left or the right vanishing point. The final stage in this drawing will be to add some tone. I hope you find this drawing challenge useful for your own drawings and please subscribe to my YouTube channel Circle Line Art School for a new how to draw video every week. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.